everybody. So for those of you who aren't able to use something like an Aquapod, which you'll see me use to launch a little bit later, I wanna show you real quick how you can turn a cork into something that you can actually use to launch your rockets. So the first thing you wanna do is take your cork and your two liter bottle or whatever size you're gonna use and check out the diameter. So this one isn't quite wide enough. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some, give me duct tape, electrical tape, whatever you got. Okay, I'm gonna rip off some here. Assuming it actually rips for me. And it does not on Girl Power Slippers, which is fortunate because I'm right here in my kitchen. So don't mind the mess, or if you suddenly hear dogs erupt into play, I apologize in advance. Okay, so you're gonna take your tape, I'm gonna split it in half here so that it lasts a little longer. I've got two pieces and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it around my cork here and eh, being kind of careful okay so that it reaches the diameter the thickness that I want okay so what I'm gonna do is I wrap it around and then See, now it's too thick, so I gotta pull some off. So that's gonna be the hardest part, I think, is getting the right thickness of tape here. Because you only need a little bit. And every bottle and cork is different. So I'm trying it again. And it should go in kind of easily, but it should be a little difficult to push it in, which this is. Okay? So that's perfect. So that's the first step. Let me get it back out here. So it was a little tough, as you saw, for me to pull it out, right? So I make sure the cork goes in and I kind of have to use my whole hand to push on it. And then when I pull, it should be kind of hard to pull, okay? So I make sure my tape's nice and tight. The other thing you're gonna need is a ball inflation needle. So I need to check that the length of my inflation needle isn't shorter than the cork and this one is. So what I need to actually do is I want my cork to end right about where this inflation needle is here. So I'm going to use my knife very carefully. And if you're home, you're asking for permission and supervision, okay? And you're gonna make a little mark on where that inflation needle ends. So you have it for later. Okay. Now, you need, in order for this to work successfully, this, the end of this needle right here needs to stick out of the center of the cork just a smidge. So that line I just marked, I'm actually, so if this cut mark here was my original mark, right, I need it to cut just a smidge below so that that needle, see the difference? Ooh, camera's right there just a smidge below so that that difference makes the end of the needle pop out a little bit. So, if you have a little hacksaw, that might be the easiest, okay? So I'm gonna cut straight up and down, go right through the cork here. If not, you can use a knife. Again, make sure you ask your parents. And you can see this isn't really taking that long. It should only take a couple minutes. And I'm using a cutting board so I don't destroy my countertops. Okay. And then we're in two pieces. So now, oh, I thought I lost the ball needle for a second. I've got the ball needle. I stick it, it should stick through just a smidge. And it does. So the other thing is now, since this end is going into the bottle like this, right? I'm going to be pushing the needle through here. But if you try and push it without some kind of hole first, this needle's gonna snap off. And this is my sister's needle and she may very well murder me. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna take either a nail, you can use any kind of pokey thing. I happen to have, cause it's me, a drill. I, I chose a bit, right, that's smaller than my needle by just a little bit. This happens to be a 1 16th inch bit 
okay? And I'm gonna drill straight down in the dead center as best I can find the center. Okay. So that will help me. Now I should be able to push the needle through the dead center here. And you see that now I have my ball needle here, sticks out just a tiny bit here. And now I'll be able to stick it right into my bottle. I'll screw this into the bike pump when we're ready to launch. And then I'll just launch it like this. Remember when we put it in the ground, you're gonna have your three sticks, one, two, three. So they're keeping this from falling over when you launch, okay? And I'm gonna make you guys a separate video later today. In a few minutes, I'm gonna go to the school that's down the street from me because I don't wanna hit any cars and launch my rockets with the different fins of the experiment, okay? So that is how you're gonna make your cork. Again, very simple, very easy. I'll check out with you guys in a little bit.